What do you get when you add an Arco dual quad 427 and a four speed to a big boxy 60s convertible? Well, that's the recipe for muscle car of the week. Nineteen sixty five was a big year for the Ford Motor Company. The sixty five Mustang was selling like crazy, and they completely redesigned the full size Ford Galaxy. The new exterior design had a much more angular look than the previous cars, uh, a lot of right angles and sharp creases in the body, but overall it was a, uh, a large boxy design. And the mission of this particular car was twofold. Ford was advertising that this Galaxy was in fact as quiet as a Rolls Royce going down the road. And they were really bragging about the fact that these cars rode velvety smooth as you went down the highway. The other part of the mission in this particular car is that it's got an R-code dual quad 425 horse 427 under the hood along with a four-speed manual transmission. Now common logic dictates that the concept of being as quiet as a Rolls Royce but still running an 11 to 1 dual quad 427 don't really go hand in hand. So Ford actually advertised this package and tried to walk the line to describe this dual purpose version of the Galaxy 500 XL. And it was an interesting thing that they came up with. They called it the Velvet Brute. And they went on to describe how the new suspension system with coil springs at all four corners was still able to give a plush, quiet, smooth ride, but at the same time, it was supple because they mandated all the 427 cars came with the heavy-duty version of that supple suspension. And they talked about how the heavy-duty suspension consisted of uh, revalved shock absorbers designed to hold the road better and a better set of tires, which were also intended to give the car better handling. Because after all, when you're wheeling 425 horsepower down the road, you definitely need traction, and the implication is that you're going to be going fast, so you want to be able to make sure you stay on the roadway when you hit a turn. And a car that is plush and velvety doesn't seem to be one that's a good handling car. Both NASCAR and the space program were really popular in 1965, so Ford combined the two to name this car the Galaxy 500. And of course, when the top is down, you can see the stars, and under the hood's the 427, making this car a real rocket. This car is a winner on so many levels if you like 60s muscle cars. First of all, it's a great looking car. Uh, the design is very crisp. It's very uh, indicative of mid-60s design. Gone were the tail fins and the excessive curves. And in style were conservative designs that were clean cut and razor straight. Uh, this car has a very bold front grille treatment uh, with the horizontal slats the very popular dual stacked headlight design of the time. And if you look closely, you'll notice that these headlights are protected by a high strength Pyrex glass headlight cover, which came with the 427 cars. Uh, you'll also notice that the badging is very conservative as well. There's only a couple of small chrome medallions here and there to call out the fact that this is a Galaxy 500 with the XL package. Of course, it's hard to ignore the bright Rangoon red color, especially when paired with a white top and a white interior. And one thing we thought was interesting on this car is that it has a set of hubcaps that are actually a wire wheel looking hubcap. So it's got a 14 inch steel wheel with the wire hubcaps, which again is the opposite of aggressive. You would think a 427 R code car would have a, either a dog dish steel wheel with a small cap or some kind of a sport wheel. But this one came with the wires, suggesting a little bit of upstated elegance. One of the nice things about a Galaxy is it's such a big car, you can bring your family and friends along when you go cruising. And the interior on this one is so nice and crisp. I really love these door panels that have the brushed stainless face and then the polished surround. And the console is white and it contrasts really nicely against that black carpet. But I think one of the shining stars on this particular car is the four speed. The Galaxy 500 XL package has always meant the car came with bucket seats and a console, and this car does not fall short. Uh, one interesting feature is the passenger side headrest. Uh, it's only found on the passenger side, and it appears that almost the whole upper third of the seat back elevates uh, to give a little bit more comfort. 
The dashboard is finished in a contrasting black color, and we see some wood-grained accents, which, again, were starting to become popular in the mid-60s. Surprisingly, this car doesn't have a whole lot of instrumentation. It's got a very wide, sweeping speedometer, uh, and then it's got some indicator lights, and then an analog clock in the dash, but you don't see an oil pressure gauge or a temp gauge, just the warning lights. It's got very clean-looking radio and temperature controls, but those are just for the heater because the R code 427 did not support air conditioning as an option. But you did have a convertible top which went down to allow you to drive fast enough to let the wind blow through your hair and cool you off. So whoever picked this car chose wisely in their grouping of options. So this is what you came to see. This is a Ford 427 cubic inch dual quad R-Code V8. It's just an awesome engine. It makes 425 horsepower, 490 foot-pounds of torque. But one of the things that's really unique about this one is how nice the condition is. It's not every day you see an R-Code 427 under the hood of a Galaxy like this, but in this case, Every single detail has been restored meticulously. It's got the right CAD plating on the linkages, the right chrome where it needs to be, the surface finishes are all accurate. You open the hood and you're just knocked over by a stunning, stunning engine. This car came with a base model, new for 65, big six, 240 cubic inch six cylinder. But as you went up through the options, you could land at this package. It featured uh, cross bolted main bearings, uh, but it, when you open the hood, you're greeted by this very impressive oval-shaped air cleaner, which sits on top of two four-barrel carburetors. This car has a fairly radical camshaft, a lot of lift and duration, so it idles really lumpy. Uh, Free-flowing cylinder heads with large valves. It also has header-style cast iron exhaust manifolds, so it can pump out all the exhaust brought in by those dual quads. There's dual exhaust and some mufflers and resonators going out the back so the car doesn't sound like a dragster but when you fire it up and listen to this thing you know you've got a hot motor under the hood. Ford rated this at 425 horsepower at 6,000 rpm at 480 pound-feet of torque at 3,700 rpm and although these are big cars they weren't that heavy so that 425 horsepower was definitely put to good use and these things were a force to be reckoned with on the street and on the drag strip. So if you like this 65 R-Code Galaxy, uh, you'll want to go to our website at musclecartheweek.com because we have videos of other R-Codes from the Brothers Collection on the website. And don't be afraid of the search box. You can search out just about any other muscle car, and I bet we have a video to cover it. See you there.